So the court that ordered doctors to end strike is different from the court that ordered the government to stop deducting house levy. So if the doctors exercise their right, they should be victim victimized due to court orders. But when the court ordered the government to stop deducting house levies from the workers is disobeyed with chest thumbing because poor Kenyans can do nothing. And by the way, to take note, doctors are not striking, striking due to their salaries. Oh no, they are not striking for their salaries to be increased, but they are striking for the increase of health budget, which improves this the service hospital services or health system service that will be essential and remarkable to the low class people which is the community but i wonder why the cs is obstructing this the money that these people are anticipating to be used are not yours mr cs this money are for the kenyan taxpayers who have paid for who have given out with no obligation so that their services can they, they can be offered good service but you are to retain it so that those, those people who offer service serv those services needed by kenyans like doctors don't get enough money for that do you think you are fair by the way madam cs if you don't have advice as i'm here and i can give you the correct advice on how to to solve the solution of doctors come slowly, but I will publicly say it here. The only solution to come with is to go sit down with doctors and come to an agreement. Listen to their grievances and come to their agreement. Because the money you are using is part of their tax and taxes of Kenyans they are going to serve. So if you come to the agreement with them, that's the only way the solution of strike will end. But don't go to the meeting, meeting the doctors with an obligation that they should follow what you think. You can also change, camouflage yourself and fit into their shoe. Then you will see the solution and the health system will be better for the best of the community, for the best of the taxpayers, for the best of the Wanjiku. And by the way, the government should know that we are Kenyans not by choice not by desperation, but by right. And we pay tax by right and not by obligation of being forced. And therefore we deserve services by our right as the right we own, not to force our dictates to anybody. Doctors deserve to be paid well because they are among the, ri the righteous people who are paying this tax. And they want as well to serve the people who pay tax. So CS Nakumicha, you need to sit down and think, or if you want, you can be advised on how the way to run the institution and actually you'll be well. But if they you have the advisor, then the advisor who is advising you to go and lecture, to go and intimidate the rights of citizens like doctors, the right of professions like doctors, you are very wrong. And that one will never be manageable and they actually at the end will mark you as an incompetent CS. We don't know if you're competent, okay? But they will mark you as an incompetent CS to the community. And this may, may lead to rise of resistance against your work, which will not grant smoothly. Kindly think about it. Uh, as per psychology, psychological matters or psychological study, distress leads to the incompetence. That doesn't mean that a person is incompetent in their field, but it is due to tr transferred or irradiating psychological disturbance that leads to the unstable mind leading to imbalance in connecting dots for that job to be achieved. This may lead to a lot of mistakes because the 
any job achievement depends on that man that are having a disturbance having a disturbance that, that means that you are unstable so if we do that way we do that way it means we are enhancing mistakes which may lead to the death of people we always say uh, any mistake in me medicine is a mistake to the worst world